A March news video for the PS Vita in 2021? Sure, why not? Believe me, I'm just as shocked as you are. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Or hey, even if you don't, I won't tell. Well, what can I say guys? Vita news is once again upon us. Yeah, to go along with the recent sales video we had, we also have more PS Vita news to talk about. The official stuff, so let's get right to it. And be sure to tell me down in the comment section which part of this news touched your heart the most. Not inappropriate though because that would just be wrong i'd love to know here we go now i've always been a strong believer at talking about the negative news first unless it behooves me and well okay we're gonna do it now i guess it didn't behoove me sony has announced upcoming changes to their movie and tv purchases and rentals on the playstation store and I'm sure we can all guess where this is going. PlayStation Store to discontinue movie and TV purchases and rentals. Yeah, <laughs> just as we thought. And me without tissues, or I don't know, maybe not. Did anybody out there actually use this feature at all? At SIE, we strive to prove the best entertainment experiences for PlayStation fans. And that means evolving our offerings as customers needs change. We've seen tremendous growth from PlayStation fans using subscription-based and ad-based entertainment streaming services on our console. With this shift in consumer behavior, we have decided to no longer offer movie and TV purchases and rentals through the PlayStation Store as of August 31st, 2021. So, uh, well, hey, at least they're giving us ample heads up here. I sense another blockbuster fiasco that we're going through. When this change takes effect, users can still access movies and TV content they have purchased through PlayStation Store for on-demand playback and on their PS4, PS5, and mobile devices. Oh look, Vita wasn't mentioned, who would have thought? We thank our fans for their continued support and we look forward to further enhancing the experience on the PlayStation Entertainment. And aside from me reading that last part wrong, while this isn't officially just strictly Vita news, it was something that I still felt most of you guys out there should know about. And now that we know about it, I'm sad. Alright, so now that we got all of that negative news out of the way, let's get on to some good stuff. And the good stuff we're going to be starting off with is with Sekai Games. And particularly for Rabby Ribby. They have surprisingly given us an update. Uh, this came out of nowhere. This game is pretty old. I can't believe we're getting an update to this game. Maybe that whole planets lining up joke that I made in a previous video is actually happening. For Rabby Ribby, hashtag PS Vita owners, we published a patch containing several fixes and updates for the game. Please check your game and make sure you get the latest update. And while I'm not 100% sure what this update includes, maybe someone can tell me down in the comment section, Rabby Ribby is undoubtedly one of the best games on the PS Vita. It has Metroidvania elements, bunny girls, and bunny girls, and hammers. Tch, game sounds like a winner to me. Doesn't take much with you now, does it? Dodge bullets, missiles, and lasers in battle as you wrap your head around that tiny bunny girl costume. Combo away with your mighty Pico hammer or spam various spells from afar with your fiery fairy friend. Explore and explode through Rabby Ribby's Island as you collect power-ups and uncover secrets. Oh, and might I add that the bosses in this game sort of play like a bullet hell, except it's a platformer, and I know that's kind of weird, but it works pretty good in this game. Oh, and for those wondering, it got quiet because I was moving on to the next segment, which is this one. Now, going back to that whole PlayStation Network whole fiasco, I should mention that back about a week or two ago, some users on their PS Vita and various other devices from Sony, because this was pretty much across the board with all of their devices, were having trouble logging in, syncing up their trophies, having their avatars disappear, couldn't access the PS Vita store. Uh, you guys get it. Heck, we couldn't even log into our account. It was pretty bad. Not PSN 2011 hacked bad, but it was still bad nonetheless. And as you can see from this, everything has been fixed by Sony, including account management, gaming and social devices, PlayStation Now, PlayStation Video, which probably won't be for long if it's August, PlayStation Store, and PlayStation Music. So for anybody who was afraid to get online because of all these errors, you may do so now with peace of mind. So many of you out there are probably already aware of this, but for those who aren't, I'll just be bringing it up here real quickly. We have a brand new game coming to the PS Vita called Scourge Bringer. And I got two words for you all. Roguelite Platformer. Ah. 
My attention is in full force at this point. Plus, I think I just wet myself. Too much information, I know. Scourge Bringer is a fast-paced, free-moving, roguelike platformer. Help Kahara to explore the unknown and slash her way through ancient machines, guarding the seal of her past and maybe the redemption of humanity. Because it's always about that. Set in the post-apocalyptic world where a mysterious entity wreaked havoc on all humanity. Again, because it's always about that. Scourge Bringer puts you in the shoes of the deadliest warrior of her clan. Help her to explore the unknown and slash her way through ancient machines, guarding the seal of her past and maybe the redemption of the- Well, we already know about that. It's all about saving humanity. Scourge Bringer will be out April 22nd. Normally, this is the part of the video where I would make some sort of cringy joke, but I can't. This game is too awesome. Okay, so I have a few more things here that I need to tell you about, but because they're not really extremely detailed, I'm just gonna kind of bundle them all together in one big segment. First up, the Yuri visual novel Yumi Yetetsutsu, I still don't know how to say it. The physical copies from Play Asia have unfortunately been delayed from February 2021 to March 2021, so we're gonna be getting it hopefully sometime this month. Hey, you might wanna check your shipping order, it may already have shipped. So if you're waiting the whole time in February, buy your mailbox, you probably probably just wasted your time. Oh, and if you have still yet to order any of these titles, I will have a link in the description where you can do so. Second of all here, Video Games Plus, that awesome Canadian website that deals in some superb Vita games, is shipping again to the UK. Thus, if you live in the UK and wanted some sort of alternate source for all your Vita needs, now you can choose that website. I don't think you needed to say it in all caps, but whatever works. And that'll pretty much cover everything here, guys. Which bit of the news on here, and I'm pretty sure Scourgebringer <laughs> is gonna be it interested you the most i'd love to know down in the comment section and as always fellow vita fans thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video it really means a lot to me love you all and i'll see you next time This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Smug Wolf, Saki Balam, Cobble Trappa, Azumara, Jackie, Donut Belly, Romp King, Dr. Super Artie, Jesus Hernandez, Kayonko, Burrs and Mystery, Juan M. Hermesio, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Ronan Alganto, Matt Hargett, Mazgus, Zikrito, Frayden, Joseph Raismick, Shin Snake, Alan Iwazu, Makis Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Nero Rashi, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, Hero Wacer, BMF, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Larry Anderson, Rodrigo Vera, Skullshire Tugel TCG, David Ray, Adam Sondi, Clayton Merlarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdal Imbert, H Hitter, Aaron Swanson, Adam Thury, Wendy K, PS Vita S, Joshua Williams, Kyle Brooks, Jelly, Heston Joseph, Per Sterner, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, Lori Sweeney, Kevin Enright, Erock, and uh, oh wait, that's it. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much at making this channel grow. No, seriously, how many of you out there actually did use those video services from the PlayStation Store?